Hey guys, uh, I'm just gonna go over a little bit about how I have upgraded my Creator Pro. Uh, this is the 2016 onwards model with the side opening door. So let's get started. So uh, first thing I got right here is I printed out this thing right here, which is a door wind block. So that way if you're printing an ABS, you can have some protection against the uh, drafts that may come in. On the top here, I have a, a little cover also, so dust doesn't get into the uh, area where the filament comes in. Um, this is probably the most valuable upgrade that I spent on anything in this printer. Uh, this is a borosilate glass uh, building plate, and it's really, really well. Uh, link on Amazon will be in the description. And uh, for the SD card, when I do long prints, I actually have this uh, special a uh, little cap, and this cap can go on top to also prevent dust going. And if you look in the corner down way over there, I have another glass, a uh, little piece to keep dust from going in. Um, I keep all my axes lubricated as often as I can. And uh, let's go over to the side here. So right here on the side, I have another box that's printed out, uh, keeps all my stuff. I have an extruder cleaner, the original springs with the uh, hex key that was underneath the old build plate. Um, these are the screws for the old build plate, some pliers. I also printed out this guy. It's just a little utility blade holder to scrape off your prints. And I also keep dust caps on all of my uh, filament as they come in so that way my extruder doesn't get as much dust. There's just a little piece of foam right in there. So those are the main things right there. I keep a little clip right here. This clip can actually clip onto both of the uh, housings for the filament and it keeps the cables from sagging. Uh, I also have another printed component right here which also prevents sagging, uh, keeps the cables up. Uh, here, this piece right here is the, uh, keeps the housing out from the inside of the filament roll. So in the filament roll, you, uh, in the stock setting, it tends to pull out right here and then get wound it around here. So this way, the filament can stay in the center and also stay clear of getting jammed. Um, I also have my own custom printed uh, spool holders right here and I'll show you how these guys work. So this spool holder right here, it's uh, adjustable with a uh, screw and I can like adjust the tension right here so that way I have the correct amount of tension, so that way my spool doesn't get too loose, wind up, and then also get caught and stuck and jammed, which has happened to me a couple times before that. Uh, these plates are adjustable, and these clips are adjustable, so you can get the spool right in the middle of where the housing is picked up, and that keeps your filaments running clean. And one thing is over here on the cover, you'll notice that on the back of the top cover, when you're printing without any... Uh, without any wind drafts, you wanna block that. I have another little contraption right here that I printed out and fits in right here. and just allows the cables to stay right here so that way you can keep the drafts to the minimum as you're printing. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, enjoyed printing out there.